Well, the Minecraft servers are down, so I thought I would mess around in my single player server for a little bit as opposed to messing with uh, my multiplayer with my friends where we're building stuff but you can't do quite as many interesting things. So I read about how minecart tracks work and it turns out the powered minecarts are actually not the way to go right now. Instead you use booster carts. And this has allowed me to make a quite disorienting trip all the way down to the bottom of my mineshaft. Now the reason you need booster carts is when you get back in on this side whoops, it can, they can power you all the way back up. So now whenever I go on a deep expedition I'll have to climb all the way back up my ladder. I can just well, I can just do this. Um, all the vine cart booster carts are hidden on the side of the track. Um, they're kind of covered over as best I can. And basically what they do is when a mine cart hits it, when two mine carts get next to each other, they will push each other at maximum speed and they will get energy. So this one gets just get pushed back and forth, but this one, which is the transport one, gets pushed all the way up and down. Um, I have one at the top, one at the middle floor, and one at the bottom. The one at the top is actually mostly to make it so I don't have to work so hard. Like, all I have to do is give it a slight shove at the beginning to start going at maximum speed down the uh, ramp. So, yeah. Oh, and I also made a little uh, mob farm thing, though. i got to go back up to show that to you. I found a, my first uh, dungeon mob spawner today, and I encased it in glass and made it made a little trap in there so I can farm a lot of feathers. I think coding's gonna come out terrible, but whatever. I guess we have to deal with it. So there's the mob spawner down there, little zombie spawner, and the water is current, moves the zombies this way, though sometimes, yeah, they can spawn out here, I don't know why, I thought they were supposed to spawn in one square, and they're definitely not spawning in one square, so I'm going to fix that, but anyway, most of them get stuck over here and drown, at which point all their left feathers get pushed this way, and I can pick them up. Which is, I think, it's a pretty easy way to just, you know, kind of come down here whenever you're bored and get the feathers. That's pretty nice. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll try to show a, a multiplayer picture of what we're doing in a multiplayer while I've got four or five friends in there. I got them all addicted to this game, too. And so, I'll show that uh, whenever Minecraft.net comes back up, because you can't actually authenticate right now. We're playing in offline mode, as it were. Anywho, see you later.